From the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Triple E! My drill sergeant sense is tingling, but that can only mean one thing! The Marine Corps is gonna get rid of sir and ma'am and basic training to promote gender inclusivity? What does that even mean? Yeah! Marine Corps, more like a little butt sore! Whoa. The United States Marine Corps commissioned a report from the University of Pittsburgh on gender integration in the Marine Corps. Wow! What the fuck does that mean? I don't know, but it costs two million dollars. Well, it means that the Marine Corps needed some assistance from a university, I guess, in order to figure out how exactly to make male and female Marines more cohesive and make the Marine Corps a more effective fighting unit by making sure everybody and their genders are treated equally, which I'm pretty sure the Marine Corps does. They treat everybody equally like shit. Wait, first we gotta talk about Raid Shadow Legends. With over 80 million downloads and players all across the world, you can take on the tons of awesome boss battles and one-on-one -on -one real players in Teleria. With over 650 unique champions, you'll never get bored. I don't know if you've heard, but Raid has planned something special for all players on Christmas. Get ready to celebrate the 12 days of Raid, running all the way through January 10th. All you've got to do is first download Raid Shadow Legends, then log on to 12daysofraid.polarium.com and input your player ID from in-game. Each day you get to experience a new chapter of this witchery story and play a new minigame for a chance to win amazing in-game and in-real-life prizes. Like Raid Champions and Amazon gift cards worth up to $1,000. I've already input my player ID and I'm spinning the wheel. And I've got no prize. <laughs> Oh, come on! Well, even though I lost, you can still check the prizes, and there's tons that anybody else can win, like Amazon gift cards worth up to $1,000, and amazing legendary champions to include battle tickets, energy refills, and skill tones. Now, this may only be for new users, but there's a promo code on the event page that everybody, new and old, can use to get your own prizes. But if you haven't played Raid yet, all you have to do is click the link below or scan the QR code in the corner, and you can get unique bonuses worth up to $30 for free. We're talking about epic champion Jotun, 100,000 silver, 50 gems, and two epic skill tomes. All this treasure will be waiting for you here and available for 30 days, but for new players only. Just click the link in the description or scan the QR code. So what is the point of this $2 million study? Yes, M with a mill and an EN after the end. Besides some groundbreaking discoveries, like maybe we should have male and female units in the fucking Marine Corps and they can accomplish a task together. Real fucking difficult shit. They came upon another point, which is why we're here today. And that is the possibility of getting rid of sir or ma'am in basic training. Why? Because it's confusing? The study says it's confusing. The University of Pittsburgh says, holy shit, Marines are dumb. I didn't know they were this dumb, but they're so dumb that they, they have trouble figuring out who's got tits in a dick and saying, sir, ma'am, in basic training. That is just too difficult for Marine recruits to do. If you can't figure out who the fuck a sir or a ma'am is? Maybe you shouldn't be holding a rifle. And where is this a fucking issue? Where is this an actual issue where drill sergeants have come up teary-eyed and tiny heartbroken saying, oh my God, I was misfucking gendered by a recruit. Oh, the tears, the disrespect. I must sit in my safe space now and contemplate how absolutely horribly I was treated. My guess is fucking zero. The government some bullshit university making up problems that don't even exist so they can give you solutions to the problem that doesn't fucking exist. Tell it, show me if this is so prevalent in what after action review where troops have been like, I wasn't sure if I should say sir or ma'am, and then I got yelled at. Their study was 738 fucking pages, and I'll be damned if I can actually find this study. I just gotta rely on articles to tell me what was in it. Boy, I'd love to see the other bullshit they came up with besides sir and ma'am are hard and maybe we should integrate units so that male and female marines can work together. Oh shit, I said male and female. Am I fucking wrong, man?
now? Or am I too stupid to know what a fucking guy and gal is? The report goes on to say that we need to ditch Surin, ma'am, because we, oh, it's just so damn hard. And we should go on to something easier, like using somebody's rank and last name, or drill sergeant, like the army does. Sometimes these civilians are morons and need a military person over their shoulder, giving them a little bit of guidance, because let me tell you something, in the Marine Corps, where you still got your fucking collar brass, it's a lot harder to determine if somebody's a fucking sergeant, a staff sergeant, or a gunny from fucking 10 feet away than to figure out whether or not they're a sir or a ma'am. Oh, but inclusivity! We need inclusivity and everything integrated with a fucking problem that doesn't gosh dang exist. Let me quote to you another fucking brain bomb by this amazing study. The commission study highlighted a number of areas where the service still comes across as being a male-dominated operation, including sexist behavior and jokes, and training material focusing on men, often using male pronouns even for positions held by females. Now before I go off, ladies, you deserve to serve the United States military just like every fucking buddy else. So don't even get on my ass about being like, you don't want females in the fucking military. I fucking do. You can do. Anybody who wants to fucking fight for the gosh dang United States military should fucking join and do so. But that doesn't mean that we're going to change for you. You have to make some changes to be a part of us. And here's one of the things about the Marine Corps that maybe you didn't know about here, study people. 93.5 fucking percent of the Marines are swinging fucking dick dudes. That means 6.5% are female. So, as much as the Marines should welcome females into their ranks, as long as they can fucking keep up with the tech. Do we just ignore that almost 95 fucking percent of the core is dudes? Now it is important to listen to all the voices, including the minority, in the military so you can get a big overall picture of what this fucking weird thing we call the military is. But that doesn't mean that we jump and bend over backwards to make the minority small figure of percent the fucking head honcho in charge and rule across the fucking land of the majority. I'm looking at you, United States Army combat fitness test and the fucking leg tuck. Could have done six leg tucks easy peasy. Now I gotta play for five fucking minutes to max it out because too many fucking people were doing it right. But get less fucking fat. Here's another fucking knowledge bomb dropped on you. When they interviewed drill instructors from the fucking Marine Corps, they were like, hey, these guys use crass language. That's something that's rude and inappropriate. We probably think they should stop. Let me give you a fucking example. When teaching recruits how to drill, he said he instructed them to face forward but use peripheral vision to remain aware of their surroundings. He described giving recruits the example of going to the mall with their girlfriend and watching another woman with large breasts walk by, quote, you don't want to get caught. You're not going to turn your head, right? You use your freaking titty vision. Two million dollars for titty vision. Two million dollars for an all male basic training class to get a little fucking nudge joke from the drill sergeant about a look at that, that little titty vision, all right? That, that is where the issue is. Hey, listen up, ladies, female Marines, airmen, soldiers, etc. If I say dick vision because you're trying to check out the stud at the gym without staring that way, is that fucking sexist? How about we just fucking let us be a little crass, huh? Maybe we can say fucked up shit as long as we're not diddling anybody. And if we're so fucking worried about sexual assault and harassment in the military, how about fucking this study that I just found out right now? I made it up on the spot. How about if you get convicted of sexual assault in the military, you get kicked the fuck out. Drop break. E nothing. Serve some fucking time. Dishonorable discharge. Maybe if you fucking higher ups decided to hold those fucking assholes accountable for diddling fucking soldiers, marine, airmen, etc. We wouldn't have to worry about saying titty fucking vision. What fucking marine is gonna go sexually assault somebody because drill sergeant said titty vision in basic fucking training? Show me the correlation between those two things. I don't want to be misconstrued here, so I'm gonna lay it down nice and flat for you. There are some issues that we should address. Spending two million dollars on using a fucking 
phrase of respect like sir or ma'am or saying we shouldn't say titties is fucking useless to solving the real problem. We need to be politically correct. We can't make anybody feel bad. You know what's not politically fucking correct? Fucking Marines shooting goddamn assholes in the face. Dropping a grenade into a room filled with insurgents. Shooting a Hellfire missile into a mud hut that fucking detonates because it's filled with IEDs and HME inside of an ISIS stronghold. The word titty ain't offensive. Grabbing one when you're not supposed to is. Make jokes about the titties, but the second you go too far and touch one, that's when you're fucked. That's what I say. They even got upset when drill sergeant said, smack the fucking buttstock of that rifle like a bitch. Smack that bitch. You know a bitch is pretty gender inclusive, don't you think, their University of Pittsburgh? Because I can tell you a man can be a bitch just as much as a woman. Tell me I'm wrong. But wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. We, we want the Marines to be more inclusive, right? We want to be more inclusive. Interesting, because in the same exact time as this article came out about no sir, no ma'am, well, we got another article. Oh, which, what's this not so inclusive motherfucking article about the Marine Corps? Oh, three kids, three kids that happen to be Sikh, that's their practicing religion, want to join the Marine Corps, and your numbers are fucking down. So don't even act like you don't need three extra fucking bodies in your corps. Three fucking dudes that want to join, and you won't let them because their religion won't let them shave their fucking beards. Their fucking religion. Not some random words and feelings about whether my gender identity is a fucking legitimate institution thousands of years old that instills certain values in them. Huh, instilling values. Things you should stand up for that make you a better person. It's almost like the core is a part of that. Like the Marine Corps. Huh. Interesting. Now these three kids wanted to join the Marine Corps but didn't want to shave and they wanted to wear a turban because they wanted to express their religious freedoms while doing so. Wanted to serve but also wanted to maintain their religious practices and the Marine Corps said no. Fuck no. You're an individual. You're an individual. You can't do that. What the fuck is the point of the First Amendment? You're telling me that sir and ma'am are so fucking egregious and titties is so out of fucking line, but you're not going to let three dudes serve just because they don't want to shave so much? Now, they can't get into basic training without shaving their heads and shaving their faces because, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, team unity, individual, blah, blah, blah. But once they get out of basic training, they can do all that shit. They could do all that shit. What the fuck is the difference? You're telling me that because a guy has a beard and wears a turban, he doesn't have to, like, he's still gonna have to do all the physical and mental shit he's gotta do. All inclusivity except for fucking religion, right? By the way, every fucking branch already allows Sikhs to grow their beard, have their hair, wear the turban. All of them except the Marine Corps, the ones that are super inclusive. They're all worried about inclusiveness, but not these guys, not them, not their religion. No, can't. Can't do that. God, if only there was a document talking about how, you know, the right to practice your religion and shit. So we can have long hair because they're just an individual choice. An individual choice. Oh, I thought we didn't want that in basic training. But their religion, guys practicing their religion, they can't have long hair. Even though that's not an individual choice. Ha! Huh. What you? But... Uh, <laughs> It's almost like the Marine Corps isn't making any fucking sense. And before I get all you old timers being like, well, you know, you don't want long hair because if you deploy, somebody could come up to you and grab your hair in a fight and stab you. And uh, how many fucking times has that happened? If you're in hand-to-hand -hand combat distance, let me tell you, there is a larger problem than you have in a fucking braided ponytail. Show me the fucking stats on United States soldiers and military personnel killed because of their long hair. And I guarantee you, the fucking amount of people killed because they were wearing their glow belts and still got run over are higher than that. Glow belt injuries while still wearing that fucking glow belt are higher than the amount of long hair injuries in the entire military. Oh, but we can't let long hair happen. No, we can't. So how about this, Marine Corps? Let me give you a study for fucking free. How about you pull your head out of your goddamn ass? Look around and realize there's bigger fucking issues than sir or ma'am. Like you not being able to get fucking recruits. The biggest fucking drought in recruiting I think ever. And why don't you just practice what you fucking preach and or defend the goddamn constitution and let inclusivity in this way where it fucking matters work.